Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it is I'm the one and only Sonic the Hedgehog here, yeah? and I'm Knuckles the Kino here, we of course we are back for some more of the Maxi Toys videos once again. Yeah, exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64. So last time we have basically just went through the 11th campaign in one player game as Captain Falcon and overall a pretty better run than you forms of how it does it on Ness's playthrough just because well you probably guys get the idea about this and especially noticeable because of how the fact that well usually because of this though is the fact that and with every single characters we have done so far that we've actually managed to complete normal mode except for Ness. But either way though, we're we'll, uh, just gonna have to leave it to that when it comes to like high scores or anything like that. So, yeah, today for this episode is the fact that this will be the final playthrough of the one player game. And because of that, we're gonna be selecting the final character in the entire playthrough before we get onto the extra video. And that's what appears to be Buddy Forms of Jigglypuff, also known as uh, Poen in Japanese release. So, but either way though, because you get the idea about the forms of certain Pokemons do have their uh, different names in between each region. Well, depending on what region you're going to be lifting in from. And wow, that was the most devastating attack that you just pull off, Sonic. Yeah, exactly, Knuckles. And, uh, yeah, before we talk about more about the forms of... Uh, uh, you know, the special moves that Jigglypuff can do. Um, obviously she's one of the final, uh, secret characters to unlock, and simply, we need to simply just complete one player game. And, it's pretty simple and, and probably is one of the easiest characters to unlock, because, uh, usually it doesn't matter what difficulty si uh, settings you're gonna be setting into, like, either very easy, or easy, or normal, or hard, or even very hard mode, we should probably point things out. So, but either way though, it doesn't matter what difficulty you select until you're able to actually just to hopefully try to unlock Jigglypuff and you simply fight her in, uh, South, uh, Saffron City. So, either way though, just to make it a little bit more representing with the, of course, the Pokemon stage. So, but either way though, that's how I can usually think about it. So, yeah, her works for Jigglypuff, she kind of feels like similar to Kirby, except she doesn't able to actually pull off a copy ability, because all she really does is that, uh, basically if you press the, just the B button, she can able to actually perform herself the pound, which, uh, pound is basically, it's like a fist punch or anything like that, which I think that's how it usually goes, basically, so, yeah, it might be pretty useful though, especially noticeable whenever we get on to, uh, Board the platforms level, and especially noticeable with the forms of, uh, well, let's just say boards the platform specifically. So, either way, though, we'll, uh, talk more about that once we get into that. And, um, hopefully that should mainly be the case, don't you think? Yeah, exactly. So, um, up special attack, as you can see on screen, that, uh, Jigglypuff can, uh, sing. Which, if you go near to those opponents while you're trying to sing, basically, they'll make these opponents just go asleep. And here's the most devastating attack out of them all, though, is the actual rest. And if you manage to pull this off at the right, uh, specific jumps or what have you, you can able to pull off the most devastating attack until you're able to realize that you would be able to actually kick their butts, no problem. Even especially noticeable in some scenarios, like, uh, for instance, if you're trying to face off against with, uh, these giant opponents, specifically giant DK and stuff like that. Sorry, but either way, though, we can expect for this much in general. Oh, really? That's the second time in a row that we can keep on getting ourselves butt kicked by Fox. And because of that, there is no way we can able to do a misclear on that, so... That's, that's pretty pathetic. Although we did try, but it's just that, well, again, sometimes stage 3 can obviously become pretty tricky on normal mode sometimes. But oh well, at least we did try. Alright, so here we go, onto the final break, the target's level, and um, hopefully it should be all goes well enough, I suppose. Well, right from where we say that, that uh, sometimes there's going to be some lot of Mistakes we're going to be able to come across into, such as this right here, so... Yeah, that's kind of my fault, so... I guess we'll have to come back for that. And also, we're actually on the halfway point of the amount of targets that we can break. But, either way though, Sonic, we were so close on that front. 
And obviously that was the first ever break the targets level we actually failed on. So, and probably the only time we actually did fail on the break the targets level. Because we almost did this flawlessly. It's just the fact of the matter is though is that using Jigglypuff sometimes in this game can get pretty tricky to execute. Even though unlike uh, Melee, Brawl for the 3DS, the Wii U, and recently Ultimate. That um, usually she can able to actually pull off herself a roll attack as well, like, you, you know, with the side special attack and stuff like that. So, but either way though, oh, that's actually really close. Even especially noticeable that we're almost going to get ourselves screwed over by that explosion. Even though, except for Ness right here, because he managed to use the, uh, the PK Thunder at the wrong angle and stuff like that. So, but either way though, we can expect this much for our teammates every now and then but you know you get the idea of how this goes so anyways now it's time for the real pokemon battle against with jigglypuff alongside with pikachu so be the even then though whoever wins the match can able to requires a gym badge even though that's uh you know that's as far as i can usually think about that so anyway a uh, few things we want to explain about this before we uh uh, get on with this particular video is that uh, recently today's days of course the 4th of December today in this case in 2020 uh, Surprise surprise though is the fact that during new forms of uh, After when uh, you know horror warriors age of calamity game just recently came out for about a few days ago since uh, 20th of November uh, recently they merged that game surpasses uh 3 million down, uh, million copies sold, which I will say, it is one of the best-selling uh, Warriors games throughout the entire series. Although, mind you, Sonic, is the fact that back in uh, uh, January 2015, that the original Hyrule Warriors game did manage to able to receive about 1 million copies sold, which, I will say, it feels a lot better in terms of selling points from the first few uh, weeks or days or somewhere in between. I'm guessing it's pretty obvious because of the forms of everyone cares about uh, Breath of the Wild stuff, so... And look at that, we actually have two Donkey Kongs on screen. And, except the fact that normal Donkey Kong is gonna team up with us, and we're gonna be obviously face off against with, uh, Giant DK, or Giant Donkey Kong, as of, as for that particular point's worth noting for. Even though it makes it a little bit of a more likely a cool reference to something related to, uh, the final match in, uh, Jigglypuff's classic mode, Root. So, that will be something worth mentioning for that, for the sake of that reference until Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came around. Yeah, which I think it might be the case, so... Alright, now we move on to the final board the platforms kind of level, and yeah, this is gonna be pretty easy, except for the point where the last platform is always gonna be the hardest to board on, so... Hopefully we were able to actually just to try, but then again though, it's just the fact the matter is though, is that I'm... Okay with, uh, you know, when it comes to, like, doing with board the platforms, but the problem is that I'm not very good at them sometimes. Which, that's probably just me anyway. So, but either way, though, we're just gonna have to do with all that stuff. And of course, much like, uh, Kirby, it's the fact that she can able to actually fly for a few moments notice, and then, uh, she can't able to actually fly for a certain, for a long period of time. She only flies at a certain amount of time. Oh god, this last platform, you have to require speed, and also the timing presses with the actual pound fist punch, but most of the time, the final platform is easily the hardest to able to go there. Which, uh, that will definitely be the hardest part about that particular board the platform stage. Even though no one near as hard as the forms of Captain Falcon's one, because, uh, Captain Falcon is the fact that you have to, like, deal with the forms of the three hardest platforms to board on, especially noticeable with the forms of you have to put, uh, rely on the forms of a lot of double jump requirements, as well as the up special attacks here and there as well. So, but either way though, that, it does take a lot of practice though, so either way though, we can expect this much. Talking of which though, actually, it's the fact that next week is the fact that the Game Awards 2020 should be hosted until specifically next week. Or, should you say for this point, Knuckles, is the fact that at some point in North America, uh, oh wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was the quickest run in terms of dealing with Team Kirby on this run-through, which is kind of impressive, impressive, I have to say. Yeah, no, right. 
So, um, yeah, the game awards it should be up until specifically, uh, the next, um, I would say, uh, the next, uh, six days for North America slash a week, uh, well, a week in our country. So, we really, really looking forward to see what's gonna be up next for Nintendo for the game awards for this year. But, uh, let's hope it doesn't go completely disaster unlike last year was. So, even though it does have some good highlights though, like, uh, Bravely Default 2, as well as No More Heroes 3 is finally, uh, releasing for the N Nintendo Switch. But it turns out both of these games are now being delayed until 2021, just because of, you know, again. We're not gonna mention into that specific offensive word ever again, because, let me tell you, it's just that we're getting sick of that word. Yeah, me neither, Knuckles, because either way, though, we're just getting tired of that specific name again. We do understand about the fact that we need to be cautious and be safe, though, but usually because of that, though, that's all I can must- I can usually just muster for that point, so... Oh yeah, something's worth mentioning for this point as well is the fact that we've now finally got back into swimming, of all things, even though, despite the fact that I'm not a big fan of swimming, yeah, because as well as Sonic has already established that since in his past history, that uh, obviously Sonic is allergic to water. Yeah, I must admit though, Knuckles, is the fact that, yeah, you probably get the idea. But either way though, I'm sure that uh, Mercy has already, uh, well, already done swimming a lot for the sake of after the second lockdown is over. So, but either way, though, I think we should be all settled by then. But hopefully, as we said this before, hopefully until 2021 should be a, a hell of a lot more better than uh, 2020 years. So, speaking of which, though, actually, it's the fact that uh, recently, according to the forms of uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie kind of industries, is that uh, basically it's the fact that... Uh, I think it does have some nominations uh, so far. Well, at least I've not heard about them yet, Knuckles, because either way, though, we're not exactly nearly at the end of the year yet. But um, hopefully by that time, though, we can definitely hear some more things about it, though. Alright, so we've done ourselves no damage run on race to the finish, just like Luigi's run through, so we appreciate about that stuff. And now let's go ahead and face off against with the final 30 ba uh, batch of um, the Fighting Polygon team, and this will be the 12th and the final time, so... Which reminds me of something, actually, Knuckles, is the fact that, uh, relatively speaking, this could be something more likely uh, a reference, or something related to 12 Days of Christmas for, well, 12 playable characters in Super Smash Bros. 64, like, uh, we could have normally tried to do that uh, system originally, but... Of course, it's the fact that since we still got ourselves, uh, let's just say, well, you know how the fact that recently that, uh, Duffy Duck has now recently finished up his Let's Play of, uh, Team Sonic Racing since yesterday, and, uh, because I think Duffy Duck has already mentioned about a lot of things during his Let's Play of, uh, you know, Team Sonic Racing after, for quite an amount of updates that he pointed things out. And especially noticeable with the forms of, oh wow, that is a really, really cool attack that you just pull off. So yeah, again, you have to specifically try to- oh, Screw you, Goldine. Screw you. You're just useless. Aside from the fact that it might be useful for water, but that's pretty much how we can think about it. Anyway, though, um... Again, not much else to talk about, honestly, guys, because of how the fact that, well... Usually, well, to be speaking, until tomorrow, that, uh, you know, Sylvester is gonna be moving on onto probably, uh, everyone's fan favorite board in terms of Mario Party 2. That is, of course, it'll be pretty obvious, is Horrorland. So, that should be pretty exciting for most, uh, fans out there who are able to expect to see Horrorland in action, despite, um, you know, the Halloween is pretty much already over. So, a bit either way, though, there's not much else to write to home about, so. Anyway, so let's uh, use the hammer to likely take down... Oh, nice. Thank you. Because that was a star, man. Even though if somehow if we managed to able to either equip uh, the hammer or the star, man, that uh, obviously that uh, some of these polygon team fighters will obviously try to run away from you. So, yeah, that seems very obvious for the uh, most... Uh, behaviors like these every now and then, but these will be the final time we're gonna be seeing these guys. Until when me Super Smash Bros. Melee came around, 
that uh, those guys will be replaced by uh, these hologram fighters, as in multi-man melee, as well as the uh, the Ollies uh, kind of fighters from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And even the Mii fighters, don't forget, in uh, Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS and the Wii U, and especially noticeable with Ultimate, despite uh, you know, Ultimate's case is actually a lot different compared to the forms of how it does it in the previous games since Melee, so... But anyways, now let's take on, uh, let's take on, actually, by the forms of Master Hand for the 12th and a final time for the sake of this last play in particular, and hopefully we should probably go back into Jigglypuff's Break the Targets as well as Board the Platforms to do those successfully, even though sometimes uh, board the platforms might take a bit of a while because of that dang last platform that we always have to rely on, so... Anyway, so let's go ahead and just keep on using shields, even though we're not going to use the shield the whole way through, because otherwise... WHAT THE HELL?! Somehow he just breaks our shield and fly herself out of the screen. Wow, I did not expect that. Anyway, but at least we lost our uh, two stocks, just like Captain Falcon's run through, except, well, I think it's usually kind of like the same thing, except that in Captain Falcon, that uh, somehow we lost one stock by uh, specifically the fighting polygon team or something. I'm not exactly 100% sure, just because we haven't exactly looked back on it, though. Uh, the only downside to Jigglypuff, though, is the fact that, unfortunately, though, she's kind of weak and light at the same time. So you can expect that if the shield breaks, she will flies up and usually gets KO'd. So, yeah, that'll be the only downside to Jigglypuff in this game. Yeah, but apart from those side of things, though, uh, Sonic is the fact that we actually accomplish every single character in the one-player game mode. Yep, so that means that we're not going to see that credits uh, sequence ever again. So, because of that though, because there's not much right to home about. I really do like this particular ending uh, scene right there, where Jigglypuff is all, you know, cutie and everything. Which I honestly admit that, that she is adorable looking. Anyways, before we end things off here, we'll try and do the success, you know, successful attempts on these two. Uh, both break the targets for Jigglypuff and board the platforms also for Jigglypuff as well, so we can expect this much. Obviously, if you those of you guys who ever played the Japanese version of the game, the obvious noticeable difference between uh, the English version of Super Smash Bros. than the likes of the Japanese version is that, obviously, in addition to when uh, Jigglypuff's name was in English and also... Uh, Poen was actually the Japanese name for Jigglypuff, and obviously the voices is actually different too. Mainly with the forms of how the fact that, well, usually Jigglypuff's goes like, uh, Jigglypuff, or Jigglypuff, uh, in the English version, but I don't know about the Japanese version though. In fact, let me know in the comments below about the fact that can you do the actual pronunciation or the accent for Poen's voice in uh, the Japanese version of Jigglypuff, or the actual Japanese name for Poen, so... But I'm sure because of all the fact that, that most uh, people attempt to do that though, but not for us though, because uh, we don't know that much of Japanese sometimes, but that's just for us anyway. So anyways, here we go, on to the final board of the platforms in the whole game. Well, usually once again that is, because obviously we'll just have to go for a successful attempt. Now once we've done so already, I seriously swear to god, this last platform is so, so difficult. Mainly buddy forms, you, ha you have to judge a jump. And even especially no sport, you need to get ourselves a good, good timing jump. Because if you somehow get like little jumps or screwed up jumps, you're probably not going to make it. So, yeah, that could be pretty much summarized for that particular moments like this, though, you know? Okay, so far so good. At least despite there are some um, occasional bumpers just loves to knock you out sometimes. But uh, usually this run is actually pretty gone. All right. Well, let's see if we can try this again. Come on. Nope, it's not reachable. It's unreachable. <sighs> but we're almost done for this point, Sonic, so don't worry. Yeah, I know that. Before we move on to uh, the extra video, alongside with uh, 
the next Super Smash Bros. Let's Play, which is kind of difficult uh, decision at this point because uh, usually that uh, we've done three of these Super Smash Bros. games so far, and I think we are now on the halfway points. So somewhere between Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS and the Wii U, and of course Ultimate. But either way, though, it might be pretty hard to decide of which one should we go for in between the two versions throughout. All right, nice. Oh, about time actually, and I think that pretty much summarized for this particular video for this point, guys, and, uh, yeah, I think that's all goes all pretty nice and all that jazz, so, I guess we should probably just end things off at this point right here, so join us next time for more of Let's Play of Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64, is the fact that we're gonna be showing you guys some extra things, like, specifically, the ninth and the unlockable stage, as well as option mode and data menu. So we'll see you guys until our next Monday. Yeah, later, fellas.